Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up a bunch of champions. So I have several champions to take up, and two of them, I believe, are rank fives. Okay, so let's get into it. All right, so if you think you can guess who I'm about to take up, and you have a bunch. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different rank ups. So place your bets, place your guesses, and let's see if you can get some of them. All right. Anyway, I'm about to get it started in five, four, three, two, one. First one up, Adam Warlock. Now, I played a little bit with Adam Warlock, and I liked his style. He's really good, and I need to play with him a little bit more. One of the things that fascinated me about him was the, I think, the double light into the block makes him unblockable. So you can do, like, a combo into their block, and then... Your unblockable can be paused if you're really aggressive. I love that. Okay. That can give you openings in fights where you can't get an opening any other way. So definitely, definitely um, worth taking him up. And of course, I have the uh, gem that I used on him. So why not? You know, uh, at this time, he was probably the one that I wanted to take up the most with that gem. And I'll be using him for now in Alliance um, in Arena. But Battlegrounds, I'll probably add him to my deck because he can be very, very annoying on defense. All right. So we'll see. We'll see how much we end up using him. Uh, I did want to take him to rank four, uh, if for no other reason than another champ to use in the arena, since I don't use my champions that are rank three and below, uh, in a normal grind, that is. All right, so that's Adam Warlock. The next one is going to be an Ascension. That Ascension is Absorbing Man. Absorbing Man, I had already uh, taken up. He's already a beast. And around the time that I did this, which is not the time of the recording, but at the time that I did this, I was using him for, I believe, one of the Winter of Woes, or there was something, some challenge I was using him for that he was great for. So I decided to ascend him. All right. After that ascension... We've got Rintra. Now, me and Rintra have this love-hate relationship. When he first came out, I saw that he had a root mechanic. I was instantly turned off, okay? I don't like root. I get triggered by root. And it's not really anything I can um, control, okay? Don't like it. And so I saw Kabam starting to add this to nodes and to champions. And the last thing I wanted to do was to play a champion that rooted himself. Okay. But one of the reasons that I don't like root is because it takes my control from me. I don't like that. Okay. And because I started learning a little bit more about Rintra and, and uh, all that. Still hate fighting him, but I can get around the route. I can play around the route. And when I'm playing as him, I can actually deal with the route because it's kind of in my control. So it doesn't trigger me. I tried it. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to take this guy up. He's good. So I'm going to take him up. And then I never did. In Battlegrounds, I have to face him. 
Sometimes he's really annoying, but I still didn't put him in my deck, didn't rank him up. I was like, you know what? It's about that time. Let's go ahead and take him up. And so I decided to go ahead and do that so that I can maybe add him to my deck. I don't know if I'm going to add him um, right away, but I'm pretty sure I will add him. And see, he's good on defense and offense. So he's a double threat. Okay. So definitely worth it. If you guys played with Rentra, you already know. Um, I, I would say he's a beast, but that might be offensive to him. Uh, Got to be politically correct these days. All right. Anyway, that is uh, Rentra. Next one is going to be Werewolf by Night. Now, when I got Werewolf by Night, I didn't get him uh, in a in a um, featured opening. I opened up a bunch of features for him and just couldn't get him. But I already knew that there was going to be a challenge soon. and uh, Or not a challenge, but uh, some objectives. Uh, the Women of Power objectives. And he was one of the options in the selector. So you could just outright select him, which is what I did. Now, here's something interesting, and a lot of people, it seems, didn't know this. Women of Power, Crystal, right? What's he doing in there? He's not a woman. All the rest of them are women. Kabam is, is slick. Because Werewolf is affected by the moon. So are women. Look it up. If you don't believe me, look it up. Okay? Anyway, so along that line, he actually fits in there. Very slick. I explained it on my uh, live stream, one of my live streams. Uh, but I found that very... I was like, oh, man. Oh, man. That is that is interesting. Very subtle. Very sneaky. Because I, I was thinking, I was like, wait. Werewolf by Night, is, it, is he female? I was like, what, what, what's going on? But that's why. I think uh, Epignosis, I think you were the one that said that. I can't remember. Leave a comment uh, if you were the one or it, whoever said it. Um, but someone said, you know, he's affected by the moon. And instantly I was like, oh, I got that. You know? All right. Anyway. Werewolf by night. He goes up. All right. Now. Next one is going to be. Lady. Death Strike. That is my rank five. One of them. Now, do you guys remember this? Boom! That's what I'm talking about. That's, oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Oh. Now you can understand why I reacted that way. After pulling a seven star Lady Deathstrike, after I had already done this rank up to five, I'm like, uh, I already used the resources, which I would not have done. If I had gotten the seven star Lady Deathstrike before I took the six star up, six star would not have gone up. Not that the six star is not useful still, but the signature ability is not absolutely needed. It can be useful, but it's not needed. And the seven star has other advantages as well. So that's why you saw me reacting the way that I did when I pulled that seven star. I was like, yeah, I like, but ooh, because I was thinking of this rank up that I had just done. Okay. Now, I was going to also ascend this uh, Lady Deathstrike here. <clears throat> Glad I didn't, because then I would have really been upset. All right? So, anyway, that is my uh, Lady Deathstrike rank 5 uh, rank up. All right. So, I got this X Magica rank up gem. Let's take a look at the champions I have currently eligible. Not that many, okay? And we're going to go through these guys. Uh, Silver Surfer, 
No. Thing? Possibly. Iceman? Possibly. Corvus? Possibly. Cosmic Ghost Rider? Possibly. And Adam Warlock? No. So, you want to try to guess who I'm going to choose? You could also put a, a vote in. Who would you choose out of these? Now, I did recently get White Tiger. But even if I got her um, up to rank four to use this gem on, I don't think I would. I like her, and I saw that she could do some wonderful things, but I haven't been playing her. So right now, as you can see, we have four. Thing, Iceman, Corvus, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Who do you think I will choose, and who would you choose? All right, but I'm about to do it in five, four, three, two, one. Thing. All right. Look at that. Look at that boy. Big boy. Let's do it. Now, you may notice that he is being used. He's already being used on uh, defense. And it's been a while. And especially since I have the uh, uh, gem, may as well. Now, I thought about ascending him because I'm about to get... Um, I have already... Uh, enough to ascend someone, which we're going to do. And I'm going to be getting enough to ascend someone else as well. And I thought about ascending him. But one of the things that I really don't want to do, especially since his SIG level is so important, but he is available as a seven star, if I recall. But this guy here, I really could ascend him because his SIG level is so important. But I hate ascending um, six stars that are available as, as seven stars if I can help it. And I came up with a different way of um, uh, thinking about who to ascend. Okay. See, look at that. 250. And I can ascend. Uh, I can ascend him. Now, thing I use in battlegrounds and obviously in alliance war. He is still a, a very difficult defender to deal with, and I've actually used him on offense. So you can see what he's looking like here. He's now a very beefy boy. In my last alliance, they were like, can you rank five your thing at the time? Not without hurting uh, my progression. But now I can. All right. So now here's something that I was thinking about. It was a tough decision over who to do here. Cosmic Ghost Rider is definitely worthy, but I don't really use him a lot. Um, Iceman, very, very tempting, but again, I don't really use him. Corvus, on the other hand, really benefits more, I think, than they do, because they're beasts right now, okay? But Corvus, I didn't want to take him to rank five. However, I might be able to offer him a consolation prize. Give him an ascension. Let's do it. There we go. So he's not ranked five, but he is ascended. Now, will I take him to rank five? We'll see. We'll see. So I've been holding these rank up gems for a while. I didn't really have anybody that I was burning to take up. And 
to become valiant, you need to take someone to rank three. I didn't know if I was going to be getting a, a random gem or what. So I wanted to hold that so that I'd be able to take whoever I wanted to right to rank three. But I have two of these. I still don't have Hulk, who definitely would be um, taken to rank two. And instead, I took my six star up. So let's take a look at my eligibles. All right. Here, you see who I could take up. Some good options in here, okay? But who we're taking up is going to be, hold your horses, leave a comment if you want to guess, but I'm about to reveal it now. Lady D! Oh, yes. Lady D. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. All right. So one of the reasons that I was uh, agonizing. Oh, whoa. I don't have a lot of um, uh, tech. So we're going to have to. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reset. And we're going to see what I have a lot of. So I have 478 science, 600 uh, of the skill. And if you saw, we have some expiring. So we have plenty of those. A uh, lot of mutant. Eh, decent amount there. And not a lot of uh, mystic. So we're going to go with uh, skill and select all. All right. So one of the reasons that this was so agonizing, as you saw earlier, is that I just took up the six star to rank five. And I was like, are you kidding me? Really? Um, now, the difference... And I'm going to probably try to make a video comparing the two. But one of the differences of the seven star is the combat power rate. She's going to gain power faster. And that's going to be very, very helpful. Now, her awakened ability, and we'll take a look at it, it is not necessary. But it can be very beneficial, especially in some fights. So we're going to take a look at that and uh, discuss it a little bit more here before we go on to the next uh, rank up. Okay, 33. Uh, let's go ahead and keep on doing that. Woohoo! There we go. All right, now, let's take a look at her ability, signature ability here. All right, so the number of hits in the combo required to gain an armor up is reduced to 15, and the max stacks are increased by five, by four. All right, that's useful for her damage. Ferocity also increases the potency of ruptures by up to 10% per armor up. So again, more damage if you're gaining a lot of armor ups. Now, we're still gonna be able to do a lot of damage. All right, and then that third one, if you're not facing someone who heals, that means nothing. But again, more damage. So her signature ability is around getting her more damage. However, even unawakened, she does decent damage. I wish she had more uh, damage. But her damage, the reason why in the past I have um, said they really need to buff her damage, her damage 
increases. You know, it's not like it's bursty. That's the problem. We're looking for the burst damage. She's not a burst damage type of a champion. Her damage keeps going and ramping up, and, and it's actually pretty decent. It just doesn't look like it. It's not as impressive as the burst damage champions. All right, so Lady Deathstrike is now ranked two, and you'll probably see me bringing her into war rather than the six star now. But certain fights, I may end up bringing the six star instead. Uh, I believe that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.